After proudly building his own clock, the last thing science mad Ahmed expected was to be led away from his school in handcuffs. I built the clock to impress my teacher, but when I showed it to her, she thought it was a threat to her. So it was really sad that she took a wrong impression of it. Ahmed says while police didn't press charges, he's been suspended and is now looking to transfer schools. Family and classmates defended the 14-year-old. I'm proud of him. He fixed my car, my electricity, my phone. He built the camera out of cardboard. He fixed my tablet. I mean, he's a real smart kid. Ahmed is the nicest, intelligent kid. He wouldn't hurt anybody. The U.S.'s leading Muslim civil rights group said the arrest was suspicious given local politics. Irvin's mayor said she stood by the arrest. She's earlier claimed Muslims are plotting to impose Sharia law in America. School authorities and local police said the arrest had nothing to do with racial prejudice. Our reaction would have been the same either way. That's a very suspicious device. We live in an age where you can't take things like that to school. We have to err on the side of caution. However, the White House took a clear stance against Ahmed's arrest. In this instance, it's clear that at least some of Ahmed's teachers failed him. But it's not too late for all of us to use this as a teachable moment and to search our own conscience for biases in whatever form they take. President Obama tweeted an invitation for Ahmed to visit the White House and other invites flooded in to drive NASA's Opportunity rover, tour prestigious U.S. colleges, visit Facebook, intern at Twitter, and to bring the famous clock to Google's science fair.